January 1st, 1991. Dear Mom, the trees outside my hospital room window are bare, leafless and empty, skeletons imposing themselves against the deep blue expanse of sky. I sometimes imagine this window is a mirror, that the frozen branches caught by winter's frigid grasp just have to wait for another spring, when longer, brighter days will bring new growth, reviving the dormant trees to life. Yet I know this is a springtime fantasy, for I am decaying into a frail fragment of what you must remember of me. I've stopped asking the nurses if they've reached you or expect you to visit. I see the pity for you in their eyes, the judgment they lather into their words. What a shame it must be to have your only son wasting away from this sinful disease. My nurses treat me like toxic waste, reviling every time they must touch me, concealing themselves behind masks and gloves, ready to cleanse this filth from the earth. I see the tree branches swaying in the distance, rustling past one another. How long it's been since I've felt a thoughtful touch of the, or the warm embrace of my mother's arms. The doctors say they'll help manage my pain. I numbingly listen to the helpless indifference they've rehearsed and regurgitated to countless hollow frames of human beings, gay human beings, Gay human beings with immune deficiency, gays with dignity deficiency, gays with friends and family deficiency, gays with love deficiency. This must be the only disease that forces families apart. Rather than drawing loved ones close when I need you most, who knew I would become an orphan while both my parents are living less than a mile away? Mom, do you still think of me? Wondering when I'll die so the neighbor's whispers will fade into the dirt along with your former son? I'd like to be cremated. My ashes mixing with the thawing soils, nourishing the next season's unfolding. Miraculously, an angel has appeared. She visits me almost daily. She visits all of us here, a saint among the lepers. She doesn't hide behind a mask or gloves, yet holds my hand when I cry. Her laugh is bright and her smile is wide. I told her I want to be cremated because I know you'll abandon my ashes too. Mom, the end is near. My breaths are weak and shallow. My vision's blurred. My arms and legs have sh shrunk to thin twigs. Is that you? Are you here beside me? Or is that my angel who is destined to bury me? I close my eyes and imagine the upcoming spring, how I'll be planted deep into the earth, weaving and dancing with roots, sprouting in fresh green leaves, flowering in new buds, swaying peacefully above you, Mom. So I guess I will be here this spring after all.